Vintage jewelry everywhere. Wow. This is crazy. Holy crap, I'm tired. You know why? Why? Because we work for ourselves. You know what happens when you work for yourself? You work all the time. All the time. It's midnight here in California, and I'm still in the garage, and I'm still making it happen. Why? Because ain't no one going to do it for yourself, or no one's going to do, do it for, you, for but you, you but yourself. But you know what? I can't say that. Me and you are doing this. Anyways, guess what, guys? We found over 1,199 pieces of vintage jewelry. Now, I know the title said 1,199, but look at this. This is all we have been finding. Look, come come take a look, mama. You see this? All vintage jewelry. All of it. Tennis bracelets, small, crystal. Let's open that. That sounds interesting. But like thousands of pieces of it. Thousands. When I say thousands, okay, Stalker, you got one box. That is not the equivalent of thousands of pieces of jewelry. Okay, you don't think it is? Let's move on to the next box. Okay, let's say 300 in that box. Nah, maybe about 100. Hey, look at this. Now you're starting to believe me? It's not clickbait. We really do have thousands of vintage pieces of jewelry. 1970. Two. Is that considered vintage, baby girl? Very vintage. Oh, and very beautiful. See that? Let's just open another one, see what happens. Let's open. Tell me when to stop, tell me when to stop. 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 Grab this one. If I can pull it out. Let's see. We have a um necklace from the year 1972. And bum ba da da. Beautiful. Beautiful. 1972 bracelet. Let's, let's open another one. Tell me when to stop. 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 stop. Try next to the other one. It is a pendant necklace. Let's see what we got here. Beautiful. Come on, guys. Beautiful. Over 1,000 pieces of jewelry. If we could average $10, maybe some pieces $30, $40. Come on, that's over 10 grand and just freaking this stuff. Like, And this is not even. What do they say? The tip of the iceberg or whatever it's called? How do they put it? Not even the tip of the iceberg. I think it's like 10%. 10%? The tip of the iceberg is like 10% of the iceberg. Oh, and the, yeah, and the 90% on the bottom. But look. All in here. All this. On the Musa, it's not just on top. Come on, look at this. We're swimming in it. Call this thing a couple hundred pieces of jewelry. Let's see what we got here. And look at that. Look at this vintage piece. That might even be silver. There's a lot of the silver that we haven't gone through yet. Look at that. Look at you. Do I look like a real bar? Make fly. Make live, make what? eating too many, make muffins. Get out of here, make loving. <laughs> <laughs> make loving. That's, but that is nice though. Like, come on, you can't tell me that's not like a five dollar piece. But you know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna you do? You know what I'm gonna do, baby mama. What I'm gonna do is put this all on the auction and sell it for how much? Hopefully a dollar each. Hopefully we get average dollar each, and we sell all this stuff. Let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Vintage. What year is it? It's pretty. It's considered vintage after how many years, babe? Makes me want you to go get, go get mine out of the shop. Oh, I'll get yours out. Not the pawn shop. The shop to fix it. The jeweler. <laughs> Not doing bad like that, people. Sorry. <laughs> the year on this one is 1977. Boxes of it. Boxes of it. This is probably a couple hundred pieces right here, right? Same... Excuse me. Same locker. Well, did we just go back in the past? Vintage Pokemon. Pokemon. Look we should that. try to see if we can get a date off some of those. You think these got dates on them? I'll grab one here. Let me grab this one. Oh, these ain't regular Pokemon cards either. Look at 
a shiny one and a regular one. Where do you find the dates out on these? You dun, should, dun, 1997, 1998. Wow. Oh, little mama needs her nails done, big daddy. Look yes, at that. Yes, she does. But look at these. Awesome. These on the auction as well. Jewelry all through here. Look at this. Jewelry. Jewelry. These are belt buckles right here. Jewelry. This right here. See this? All jewelry came from that. All jewelry came from that. That's not. Then you've seen this box already. Then these right here. Look at I looked up a few of these online, right? And I'm like, oh, they're probably nothing. No. These are selling just as much as the other jewelry. And all these are... Look at these pieces. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful. More than beautiful, baby. You know what they are? These are little mama status. That's fine. Oh, you smiling back there? That's fine. Wine, baby. Oh. Oh my goodness. Even though you in your robe and you look like you half asleep, 12 o'clock at night, you in here printing shirts, we shipping stuff off. You know why? We work for ourselves. Look at this. More jewelry. I'm just going to grab a random piece of jewelry out of every box. Any, mini, miny, mo. This one right here. Let's see what we got. The year on it is, bum ba da da 1999. That's still considered vintage, 22 years old. Grab it, open it, see what we got here. Come on, baby, be something nice. Look at that. Purdy. Purdy. Everything. Move on to the next box right here. Look at this. Look, vintage stuff coming from everywhere. Grateful Dead. That's a nice shirt. Auction block, Friday night. I don't know what these shirts are right here. This one looks a little stained. What love in something i don't know it's an old shirt though but look boom move a box more stuff what do we have here genuine mother of pearl heart choker Ooh. that all did not belong in one sentence <laughs> nice little fancy bag choker oh look at that that's nice that's pretty look at that Oh, it's a, a speechless, speechless. That's one. That's one box. Okay, look. How many boxes do you think we're at so far? About a couple hundred out of all them boxes? Look at this box. Do a quick count. This is a quick count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 2, 2 4, 68, 32, 4, 6, 8, 40. There's like 60 in this box. Easily. Keep going. More vintage stuff. More vintage stuff. What is this stuff? Don't even know. Sagittarius. Super. Well, look at this. What is this stuff? What is it? What is that? How much is stuff going for? Whatever it is, it's all in here. Look. Magnifying glass. What? Oh, wow. It's a cologne magnifying glass. That's different. Hmm. Do I look smart? I just said that because I look like him. <laughs> Mr. Uh, what's that one inspector guy? Inspector Gadget? No, the other one. Sherlock Holmes. There you go. Look. Inspector Gadget. Come on. Do you see what this says? You read one, right? What does it say? Precious sapphire pendant necklace. Sterling, Sterling silver. silver. Okay, what does this one say? Precious sapphire pendant necklace. Sterling silver. What does this one say? Sterling silver. What does this one say? Uh, sterling silver. What does this one say? St That's a whole box of silver. And we still haven't even went through all the other boxes yet. Crazy. Then you come over here. Look at more stuff. Steins. Look at that. Ooh, some Steins. Figures. Boom. This came out of there. A Nintendo. Games. All in here. Why are we in the garage, little mama? And why are we going through this, this in the is garage? Where we work. And what is this? What is that? Looks like army pins. It's the trap. Did you see this the first time? Um, no, I did not see those. Look at. Oh wow. Pins. Look at this. What? Pins. I didn't even see them the first time. Anyways, the reason we're in the garage is because 
one reason and one reason only. This is where we work. This is our hub. And this is where we do our auctions from. So you know what all this stuff is doing on these tables? <coughs> what? That wall. Oh, that wall back there? <laughs> Zoom in on that wall. I don't need to. Like. Yeah, guess what that wall is? This stuff, guys. Look at this. Boxes. This is at least a 300, 300 piece box right here. And what is it? Stockard? Don't look like it's nothing. Let's see. Pull one out. What do we have? Fashion jewelry. 14 karat sterling gold filled silver. sterling silver ring. So basically it's it's gold plated with silver on the bottom. That's Boom. Pretty. Little ring. Come on. Guys, I don't know about you guys, but I really do feel like we kind of hit the mother load of vintage Avon and it's going to sell. It is going to... Mama, come on. This is one that I had already um You were looking at. Out. And we started looking at it. And I'm like, baby mama. Wait, I wanted to show you one of the favorites. I said, baby favorite. mama, let's just stop and do this. We're going to stop, open it, purdy. What are we going to do with it? Put it straight on the auction, which is not Friday night. You're watching this video right now. I hope it's the Tuesday. And I hope you watch it. And I hope Take you realize... Sorry. That we are doing a pop up auction tonight. tonight See what we got here. Tonight. Tonight. Oh, girl. <laughs> She's going back there dancing. I think that one's Ooh. really pretty. Guess what? What? That is pretty. That's one of thousands. You know what? Put pieces. that away. That's going to be for a lucky winner on the auction tomorrow. Is it? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. I'll put it in my pocket. And then we walk this way. It does not stop at all. Look at these. Two Beetle books. I don't know if I already found those on camera, but Beetle books. Pokemon Vintage. Vintage Pokemon. Look at these. What are these? Barbie? Ooh. Old Barbie stuff. Like toys. Oh, my God. Barney. Barney. Look at this. Oh, jewelry. Oh, plenty more jewelry. What's in this box? Oh, figures. Go ahead. What do we got here? Oh, more figures. What is that? Crystal? Wow. It Ooh, don't. That one says ice cream. What's this? Whole box. Still not even open yet. Let's open it right now for everyone. Teddy bears? Oh, look at this. These, you know these are all vintage. Look at this. Teddy bears. Teddy bears. Beanie babies. Look. Beanie Babies. Ooh, Beanie Babies. I'm kind of overwhelmed with all of this stuff. But you know what's the best thing that can happen? What's that? It's we have, in this business, you can't have too much stuff. Look at this. Stacks of coins. Look at this stuff. Stacks of bags of money. And you know what? I feel so, so blessed right now to even have stuff to sell in the world that we live in right now, it's so hard to get stuff to sell. It's so hard to just network in certain ways. But you know what? When you're all around reseller or all around hustler, you find your way around. Guess what? We are about to go 11 a.m. in the morning. We have a very important meeting with four other people. Me and little mom are going to step in there like we own the building. What? <laughs> no, I'm just... You nervous? Don't be nervous. We got this. And you know what it's for, guys? It's for all them pictures I found, them rare photos of movie stars. The guy was known as a, uh, I Tutor guess Raider. he started, started. Yes, he started. Started the African American Movie Awards way back when. And I have a bunch of original pictures, and they are very interested in it because they want to open up a museum. Well, they are opening up in a museum, and he's going to have his own little section in it, and they need what I got. I'll let you guys know how that goes tonight on the live. But if you're already watching this and it's a couple of days late because you've seen a thousand pieces, just message me if you want to talk to me. Okay, message little mama because I don't check my messages. Peace out, people. Thank you for being here.